everywhere I looked in American culture, it was always about negation of the power of weeds, I guess. Um, and so then again, just kind of kept pushing forward on, along those lines. Plants is where it started. Um, I was raised with my grandparents uh, for a lot of my life. And, you know, their kind of World War II era had the victory garden kind of a thing. And as soon as I could hold a shovel, then that was sort of my job was to tend the garden. I was also working as an art installer. And we drove, I spent a lot of time driving in Los Angeles. And one day, um, we were sitting in, uh, sitting in traffic in, on the 101. And I looked over and there was a, a plant that was um, a species of plant that played fairly prominently in a lot of the research that I was doing in shamanic cultures. And so that kind of became a, a, a moment where I saw all of this research and stuff coming into my world. And it happened to be uh, Datura. And I found out that it, it's a type of plant that likes, or I don't know if I can say likes, but it tends to be found in disturbed soils or polluted soils. It leaches like heavy metals and cadmium, like cadmium and stuff out of the soil and essentially kind of cleans it. That, for me, was that moment that pointed to waste spaces, sides of the freeway, drainage canals, polluted dirt as a place where poisonous, medicinal, psychedelic plants can tend to be found, which then led me more into disturbant, disturbed zone plants. But the plant life thing really came out um, in an interest to try to understand uh, the role of psychedelics in American culture. I was also interested in kind of the roots of religion and you know behind religion is sort of mythology. It's the plant becomes the point of contact between the person and the natural world around them and how they might move into the natural world in a certain way to then transform their understanding of the natural world and turn it into a symbol system or a cultural system or a system of art.